welcome back welcome back if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button below if you are a returner you know what to do today's video is actually a dilemma so dilemmas i actually received on instagram i've got a few so i'm just gonna go straight to it i'm not a um what's what's what they call that a relationship therapist or i'm not a therapist or advisor i'm just stating my own opinion about certain things trying to answer these questions as truthfully as i can so let's get to it because like this is just like serious like first question was i've been with my man for five years but i'm not feeling him anymore i don't know what to do okay my opinion about this question is to be honest if you've been with your man for five years congrats to you girl um i personally feel like you should like be yourself you should have a conversation with your man face to face call up your man and just be like um you know i want to see you i want to talk to you about something that i've been feeling for a long time um i don't feel like it should be sent by text message i don't think it should just be a facetime call i feel like you guys need to speak because you guys have been together for five years that is a long time like it's like you've invested your whole life with this person and if you're not feeling him anymore the best thing to do because you guys are like friends like you're friends but you're that's your partner so i feel like you need to have a face-to-face -face conversation and talk about how you feel just say it out of your heart my personal opinion about that you just deal with it in the right manner you shouldn't be disrespectful bear in mind that's your man you've been together for years you know how he is you know how he acts it's like you need to see him and talk through it that's what i think i sh that's the, that's my personal opinion um about that um question next question is um <laughs> sorry i i just read the first slide i'm just like okay the, the <laughs> wow my boyfriend got someone else pregnant in our time together should i stay or should i leave wow 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 like is there even anything to say like oh my god do you think i'm going to stay my personal opinion on that question is why are you standing there? You should have been gone. That's your best friend. I don't know how long you've known your best friend for. Two, you should have seen like you should have seen signs. Three, personally, if I've got a man, my my friend shouldn't have my man's number unless it's like they're surprising something for me or something like that. There shouldn't be any reason why my, my best friend has, you know, my boyfriend's contact number. I just can't do that. So me personally, I feel like both of them need to go. She's, you've burnt her bridge, you've burnt his bridge. That is it. Let them be together because at the end of the day, yeah, they'll feel bad that they did that to you and your friend will feel bad as well because that's your girl. Like there's girl codes, but some girls don't know about girl codes. Some girls just go out recklessly and just open their legs and just do whatever. But my personal opinion to you, girl, is just you don't there's no conversation there's, there's nothing to talk about you've done what you've done and that is it there's nothing to talk about unless you've been with your man for so long and you have that type of bond where you can just call him up and just say you know what we need to talk why do you do this why do you do it? why do you do that but my personal opinion i don't have time for that there's a million of guys out there yeah and you don't need to stress your poor head on a man that just slept with your best friend friends it's not worth the stress is there anything wrong with being in a relationship where the girl earns more um there's no problem in that i personally feel like there's no problem like if i earn more than my man if a man's not has, doesn't have a problem with it then there shouldn't be a problem but it's like i don't think that's an issue i feel like back back in the day it could have been an issue but i feel like now in this generation 
there's not an issue but sometimes you know what that's my opinion but some people feel like a certain way if you know what well, men feel like a certain way if their female owns more but i don't feel like that should be a problem though because you both live in the same household you're both working together you're both doing things together so that should never be an issue um i want to be an influencer but i'm scared to be out there so girl like if you want to be an influencer you have to be prepared to put yourself out there anyways because you know it doesn't work by itself but you need to understand that social media is a cruel place like there's people that control your page there's people that can bad mouth you there's people out there that won't like you something that like you but i don't know but you need to prepare to be out there because being an influencer is a big step um there's a lot of things that you need to you know build yourself or build your profile to become an influencer but i personally feel like you need to be able to build your confidence and be able to be in the front like in the front light of everything so that's my personal opinion like if you want to be an influencer you need to be prepared to be in that spotlight regardless because you get people that are bad mouth you you get people that will hate you you get people that will you know you might even go to like shade bar and all these stuff like you just need to be prepared for that outside world and you know be prepared for all these these stuff that are gonna, people are gonna be saying on social media because that's 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 like that's people's life will be an influencer you're gonna get people that will hate you or people that will like you and that is it so um that's my personal opinion and my advice that i can give to you um next one was who should you listen to your parents or your man um my parents guys at this moment i was thinking why the hell is my face like that like my man of course my man's like is basically part of my family now or could be part of whoever if you're in a relationship and it's part of your family but i feel like your parents is your parents your parents are the one that was with you throughout the whole of your life your man was there half of your life let me just wrap this up guys so if you guys like this video make sure you put a thumbs up the music on my intro was by Ephosa if i hope i said that right if anyways guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you are going to watch my videos make sure you hit that notification button for like updates on when my videos are going to come up and whatever